uh, one of the real important drills that we're going to work on uh, emphasizes the three type of sets that we use at Miami. We use jump sets on three-step drops. We already talked about jump, and, jump set and punch and cuts. And we use lateral sets when when we have a, a five-step drop and we have a guy that's in normal, normal alignment to us. And we use vertical sets versus a wide rusher. And we, we really don't want to go out to that wide rusher. We want to come back, let him come to us so we can also handle games. Now, in this drill, we're going to work all three players, and we're going to try and get a little bit of shot at each type of set. The first one here is a jump set. I'll go back right there. And in the jump set, you see the feet go forward. Just They're trying to go forward just the length of your foot. Okay? Sometimes guys will jump out of their shoes on these jump sets, and then when they get some movement, they're hurt by it a little bit. Okay? But we just want to go one, two, come forward, and maybe get the, the, the defensive uh, player a little bit out of kilter, or out of sorts, and, and his timing may be off, and that's why we like to work these jump sets. They're good for it, especially for three step drops. Okay? And then, and then moving forward here, we'll, uh, We'll go to uh, lateral sets, okay? On the lateral sets, you see him. The, the foot goes to the right or to the left if he's aligned to your left, okay? You're trying to keep inside leverage at all times. You're trying to keep the hands tight. You can see him, and you're snapping the head back. And what we call, what we really work on that is jam, jack, and throw. We're jamming our hands, our foot into the ground, we're jacking our heads back, and we're throwing our hands as hard as we can. Now here is our vertical set, okay? The guy gets a little bit of, you get a little bit of a wider rush, okay? So you have to kind of give ground to get your ground, and now we're going to push for depth, and we're going to push off our inside foot, and we're going to kick back and kick slide, but we want to do it almost completely vertical, Okay, again, none of, the, none of the things you're teaching as a pass protector, as a coach, uh, as far as inside leverage, none of that changes. We're trying to hit you on the inside. We're trying to protect our inside at all times. We're trying to make you go one way to beat us. And the, But the, the hard problem with this is to keep guys square to the line of scrimmage. And this is why we got to work it so hard to keep them square, to keep them focused on on not turning and again now we now we work to the left because you never know we use left handed stances right handed stances and guys can get hurt you got to move guys around so we always want them to work them both left and right okay we'll start and again we'll do the same progression jump set vertical or jump set lateral set vertical set okay and here's here's a little shot here of, of the vertical and what are you trying to emphasize inside leverage Foot the crotch relationship right there. Don't go wide. Go back and snap the head out. How many? Well, you can see right here, our right tackle is doing a, a good job on on trying to attack. And and uh, and get at the rusher. It's a it's a good job on the jump set, and and is very effective. It's a it's a, it's it's really a nice alternative, you know, to guys that are good rushers. You don't want to let them get in a get in a uh, a mode where they're just coming after you all day and and they don't have to worry about anything else but the same type of set. Here's more of a lateral set, but this guy, is he, he's got to get a little bit of width to get on him, but he's trying to jump him. He's trying to get after him, and I think that throws this guy off because because he's probably thinking he's going to get a vertical or lateral set there, and it's more like a jump set. Here's lateral set. Okay, and uh, the example is the right tackle. He has a five technique on him. 
He's in the normal five technique alignment, which would be on his outside shoulder. He wants to jam his right foot in the ground, keep his left foot solid. He wants to work the inside of the body, and, and, and he wants to jack his head back and throw his hands. Jam, jack, and throw on lateral sit. It's the same thing on a jump set, only now you're using forward footwork. Okay, this one is a lateral to the side, and you can see he does a good job, gets his head out, stops him good, works his hands good, that's an excellent job. There's an, here's another view, our left tackle on a lateral set, okay, now I would like to see him jam his left foot a little bit better, but and, 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 and the, the throw of the hands, but the head's good, he's keeping inside leverage, and again, that guy's on his outside shoulder, and, and we're working to keep our left foot in his crotch. That's the relationship we're looking. Left foot to crotch, jam, jack, and throw, keep the head out, keep inside leverage. Right, the right guard here is uh, is using a a lateral sit. Good job of you know the guy's a little loose on him where he can run games on you, and but he's careful enough to not get his head involved and still keep him outside and keep his inside leverage. That's the hardest part of pass protection to teach is to maintain inside leverage because the fastest way to a sack as we all know, is to go inside, and that's where they come from, and, and you, you, you just don't want to give up inside leverage at, at any cost. Here's, a, here's some examples of, a, of vertical sets now, okay? Our right tackle here has a six technique on the tight end, and he's just going completely vertical, okay? But, but And he's turning a little bit, and you want to, you want to work their confidence that they can stay square and play at the line of scrimmage. But, uh, but I really like his inside leverage. He kind of falls victim to a nice little move there, but that's okay because the guy's got to go outside and the ball's going to be gone. Here's our right tackle. And... Uh, Really, you know, it's not a super wide guy, so he doesn't. He, but he's still kicking vertical. He's he's kind of turning a little bit and opening it up, but it's excellent with his head and hands. Watch the head and hands. Head is out, hands are up. He hits the inside number, keeps great leverage on the guy, allows the quarterback to to throw, throw the ball freely. Okay, that's a pretty nice job right there. 